me hit my live button, make sure everything's live, it's all set. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Hey, Judy. Judy's already uh, online. She said hi. That's how I know people are here. They check in. They say hi. I have a screen. My chat screen is up as always, so I could see any messages that you send to me. I can see what's actually going on. I have my full broadcasting screen over here where I can see. I got my video over here. I have my design that I'm making today down here. So we're just uh, getting things going here, getting things all set up. My wife has even joined on. Hi, honey. How you doing? All right. Today, I'm going to be doing something uh, not different. Not, what do we do here? We talk about balloons. Hey, Andrew. Andrew jumped on. There's a couple more people jumping on. Usually the chat session uh, slowly fills up. They've got people from all over the world that uh, pop out here and see me. I'm going to have just some lights here real quick. Little things in my studio. I move my studio around from time to time doing different videos, as you know. And lights get out of proportion here. But today we're going to be doing something different, something unique. Uh, we're going to be doing this flower right here, this sunflower. Now I'm going to show you a technique to get the petals all the same size. That's where a, a lot of people have problems is getting things consistent. Now I got a tip and trick to show you how to do that. But before we start off, I just want to introduce myself. If you're new to this channel, my name is Dale Labracta. I am a professional balloon entertainer. I've been doing this for 35 years. This is my channel where every Friday, right up here, I stream live my best of my abilities and uh, teach you some new tricks, talk about balloon entertainment, do a whole bunch of things balloon related. So if you haven't taken the time, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, become a follower, and that means you'll be notified when I go live or if I upload a new video. Now, a couple of things I want to point out here. I do have a chat session, so if you want to say a message, say hi. I usually request people when they log in at least to say hi, pop up there, put some input. I'm always reading the screen off to the side and talking to you. Sometimes you guys have information or questions that you need to put up there. Type them into the chat. Or if you're watching this show after the live stream, always drop a message down in the chat section and I will, or the comment section, and I will get definitely back to you. I respond to almost everybody. So with that, let's do me the honors of sticking around this afternoon and let's go on with the show. Hi, my name is Dale LaProcton and welcome to my YouTube channel where we're streaming live today. Let's learn something new, fun, and exciting. So let's get started now. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Today, like I say, we're working on a sunflower here. And the sunflower actually has a couple unique things to this that uh, make this a really cool flower. This flower, I'm going to say right now, is more a decor piece than I would scream out and say, hey, this is for line twisting. If you're table hopping from table to table in a restaurant, you may have the time to make something like this. But this is more of a display piece. This is something that you want to put in a vase or put in a full decor display. Do the fact this is this is time consuming compared to the normal twist, twist, twist of a flower. All right, let's talk about the tools that we're going to need today. We're going to need... I have four, but we should only need three 160s. I'm using citrine yellow, or this is out of an old pack of balloons that I have of Qualitex 160s. I'm going to use the citrine yellow because, hey, citrine yellow is the color of the sunflower. We're going to be using brown. Now, we have a couple options here. We could use a linkaloon. I'm going to show you a linkaloon. Or it is uh, the quick, what do they call these? Not Linkaloons. Linkaloons Pateltex. This is Quick Link by Qualitex. And then we're going to use a 260. So this is using probably a big variety of balloons. I'm going to show you another option if you stick around to the very end. How to make this without a Linkaloon. So let's get started. All right, first of all, I got an itch. 
I like <laughs> you can't even see this off screen. This is this is this is me, the comedian. I'm I'm scratching myself with my legs kicking here. All right, how do we keep these pedals the same size? We do not just randomly loop pedals because if we randomly loop pedals, we're going to find some become big, some become short, some become big, and we're going to get this really crazy looking flower. And for this flower to work, you really need to have everything set the same size. All right. Here we go. Here's the big secret. All right. Before I get the big secret, I want you to guys click on subscribe. Do me a favor. Click on subscribe. I'm going to do a little house cleaning here. I know. I'm going to take that off. I want to take that off. Whoop, bye. Go. Go. There we go. Remember to subscribe. Where is... I got one more housekeeping thing here to do. There we go. Whoop. Oh, I have some things that just don't want to shit off today. There we go. All right, here we go. The big secret, toilet paper tube. Woo! I, now, if you watch one of my previous videos, I show how to do the square ladder boxes, and I use a toilet paper tube. Go find that video. It talks about this. But we're going to use a half a roll of toilet paper tube. Just find... A used spent toilet paper roll. Now, this is not the size that we need. We actually need a larger double this size. This is approximately four inches, so we're going to go eight inches. So I just take this and go, all right, this is about where it's at with my finger. If I come here again, I am going to be approximately right here. This is the size I need, roughly eight inches. Boom, twist. Now, here comes the fun part. How do we keep everything the same size? Well, this design actually is pedal, spacer, pedal, spacer, pedal, spacer, pedal, spacer. Now you're going, well, what do you mean by spacer? Well, we're going to do a small one finger bubble. Look at that. It's a small little bubble. So you see that bubble right there? Now, I can use this to measure my next size. I come down. There is my measurement. I'm going to take this up, bring it around, just about three twists. Now I have to make sure I hang on to this. I do not want this spacer bubble to dissipate because I'm going to use this as my next template to make a bubble the same identical size. I can eyeball it. I can now see I have two bubbles. This ensures that my bubbles now in between, you can see in the back side there, are all going to be the same size. Look at this. It winds up where I can now measure I'm taking all the guesswork out of this. Bend it up, twist it around. And oops, I lost my little bubble. But I can measure it again because I have this bubble right here. I now I'm going to use that first bubble again. I can eyeball a bubble that is going to be approximately the same identical size. Measure this down. I know this is so exciting. Woo! All right, I'm being silly here. I can twist. Just about three twists, that's all you need. And I'm going to let this one go at the moment because I could use this bubble. I have to put that little bubble back in again. It should really hold this. Measure down. I'm just going to wrap that around. Whoop! Slipped out of my hands here. Yes, there we go. There we go. See, I got to use a lot of hands here. Spin that around. Now, I'm going to have to make a series of these. And... I want to keep this original bubble because at this point I am going to 
Actually, let go of this bubble at the moment. I'm going to take this bubble right here, twist it around. Break off. Tie a knot. Now I'm going to take this section right here, take my next balloon, take this nozzle and tie it on right to this last spot there. Bring that in. Tie the knot. And I take a pair of scissors or my handy dandy exacto knife here, not cutting off any fingers. It's nice and clean. Now, again, we get that little bubble up there. I make my little bubble, same size. Measure, come down. And it's just a process of repeating itself over and over and over again. Whoa. Bad bubble. That bubble tried on twisting. All right, there we go. Small little bubble again, same size as that one. that up a couple times you don't like the way balloons squeak this is a, actually a really squeaky balloon here that I have I don't know if it's because my hands are extra clean but I'm just gonna keep making these And you may be wondering, how many do you want to make? As many as you want to, that's going to bring you around. The, the, the fewer you make, the bigger it's going to stretch. The more you make, the closer it's going to be on the flower. I just know for a fact that it's going to be more than two balloons. All right, I'm going to break that off. Filter that through again. Now, you may be wondering, why did I do four 160s? I did that for a specific reason. 160s have a tendency to break, and if they broke, I didn't want to spend time on camera inflating. But in reality, if you got decent quality balloons, meaning that it's not really old stock, you'll be able to make this fairly quickly with three balloons. And like I say, this is not a, um, oh, sorry, I'm listening for a hiss. The, these are, this is something that I, I probably would not make if I was line twisting, but if I was doing maybe a birthday party and somebody asked for a sunflower, I possibly would do this. Uh, there, there are quicker, cheaper, easier ways to doing this. Again, I made my spacer bubble come down. There are quicker and easier and cheaper ways of doing this, but for practical reasons in the decor world, this is definitely what I would do for a decor piece because decor pieces, you have uh, more time to do this. You also are doing pieces that are, are decor, and decor in itself, you could use multiple different type balloons. You don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I got only use 260s or I got to use 160s. You're able to use whatever you want. It doesn't always have to be balloons. It could be other things that you add into the balloons. When I say that, it could be garland. It could be little butterflies. It, it could be plastic. It could be anything. All right, I'm almost finished here. Have this. Now I'm going to go back to my original measurement. Take this guy, wrap the nozzle around, come through. I want to make sure I can get to that nozzle because I'm going to tie that nozzle to this piece. Break off. Oh, I did a little too quick there. Oh, yeah, here we go. <gasps> wasn't thinking here. Hang on, let me get my compressor. I want to be careful when I break it off because I need a spacer bubble. 
I didn't have I didn't allow for a spacer bubble. I made a mistake here. Oh hiss. Now let let me go in here and just put a little air in this. Come on. Oh way too much. Alright, now I got my spacer bubble. Now I could tie my knot. Now that I have my knot, now I can come back into this guy. Wrap it around. And if I haven't gone too crazy with this, I didn't even measure. I'm just go oh, my eyeballs, folks. Probably should have measured. That would have guaranteed that I would know exactly how big this is. I may have gone too far on this. If I have, oh well. I'll show you how to make it smaller. It's that simple. Here, what we're going to do is I'm using the Quick Link Linkaloon or Quick Link by Qualtex. This is also called a Linkaloon. That's what its original name was. And I'm going to inflate this. This is a six inch round. And I'm going to tie the knot off. I want to soften it up just a little. And I'm going to take my green 260. This happens to be key lime green. You could use dark green, any color green you want. I'm going to take this end right here. Tie a knot. Now, I'm going to do an apple twist where I'm going to take this center, bring it down, and spin it around. In fact, I'm going to take this end, wrap it around so it's locked. Now, here comes the fun part. Take this. Oh! Hang on here. Let's do this again. I'm going to do it the opposite way. Take it this way. This will, this will give you a cleaner look thinking about it. Push that through. Actually, it's a harder way of doing it. Let's, let's go this way. Not everybody's that experienced in doing the apple twists. Actually, I shouldn't have tied it. I want to wrap it around first, then tie it. Now, because this is on the soft side, I'm actually splitting the apple. Now I'm going to take and put my pinch twist in. Right here. It's gonna lock. This is the head of the flower. This is this is the back part. That's the front part. Now, depending on how crazy I went with my flower here, I didn't go too bad. That wasn't too bad, and you know, just uh, by eyeballing it, slides right over. And if I was paying close attention, which I'm going to do right now, I would take one of these bubbles out. All right. Ah! All right. I really should have paid attention here, folks, on how many bubbles I needed. But that's why. Ooh. Oh, look at this. How lucky can I get? <laughs> I broke it to the exact amount of numbers that I needed. This would never happen. I'm glad this is on video because this would never happen if I had to do this again. All right. Should have measured when I went along. This gives you the perfect size. Now, what I need to do, I've learned that when we do these, 
we twist these together. Sometimes we don't get these perfectly parallel to each other. And what you need to do is go in there and adjust the way these two are touching. And sometimes it only takes uh, pulling it apart, dropping it together. And you notice right here. Now, I want to point out something. You know, you guys are always great. You guys come around. You leave me comments. You drop in here in the chat room and talk to me. Now, I'm going to take the sunflower, and this is two techniques you could do here. You could do plain old leaf like that, or if you do a bubble, and then split twist it. Now, you do a, a three finger, followed by a four finger bubble. This is three, this is almost five finger. And you're gonna wrap it around, but then pull it to the opposite side because you're gonna want this bubble to fill in the space in between these two. So again, three finger, five finger, twist it around. This then gets wrapped into that area. A little adjustment, boom. We're almost done with this. Quick and easy flower, one, two, three. Now. For the bottom, you could do a couple things here. This one, when I did it, I had extra balloon. I wound up doing a little apple twist at the bottom. This one, I'm just going to break off, and dispose of the excess. Now to finish this off, pull out my brown marker, and we're gonna do dots. Dot to dot, dot, dot to dot. And we're just going to keep making a whole bunch of dots. Trying not to, see there in here, I started to, my marker slipped. I want to make sure I use the tip of the marker. And I want to make sure that I don't go from the side. I want dots, not slashes. And this is where I need to be very careful because it is quick and easy. You can easily go to the side next thing you know you have a line and then you're trying to figure out the line so what I always try doing this is a tip because you guys always stay to the end is stay perpendicular stay perpendicular when you're doing your dots this will give you an actual dot when you're doing this and you want to go random I use brown because brown ties in with the sunflower, sunflowers are usually brown. And again, you you can actually tell, and you'll see the dots that actually have gone to the side or where your marker slips. So you get that. And that becomes your sunflower. Do, 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 do. So that is your sunflower. Because you guys stick to the end, I always like it when you guys stay to the end. I'm going to show you, as I promised, how to do this in case you don't have a link alone. You can use a 350. <laughs> wow, this 350 right here that I grab is tied off already. This 350 will do me no good. Let me see, do I have another 350 in my office? Yes, I do. There's my bags of 350. Here we go. I use a 350 instead. I'm just going to mouth and flight. <gasps> and what I'm going to do for this long apple twist. Come down. I want to do a pinch twist, which is going to be a small bubble. Now. We're going to split this bubble right here. There you go. That is the bubble you need. 
again, I would do a pinch twist again, then remove. Now you may be asking me why would I remove this? I I don't. You could probably have a 350. Um, oh man, it just broke. You where did that where did that scrap go there? All right, let me pull the scrap out. You can have a 350 stem if you want, but I prefer not to. I like my flowers to be delicate, and the 260 base is a nice delicate base. So again, all you have to do is take a scrap, stick your finger in all the way down, one small bubble, two small bubbles, and I'm going to break off this excess. So if you have brown 350s, this works great, again, soft enough. A lot of squeaking in this one because you're twisting balloons in areas that they shouldn't. Here is your new flower petal. You could do any color flower. I then would come in and attach my stem this way. So my stem comes down. So let me show you real quick again. I'm going to do a real small one here. All right, where's my toilet paper roll? One. Let's see, that's one. I know somebody's laughing at me. He's using a toilet paper roll. It works. It's four inches. Small bubble. I'm gonna see how many petals we could get out of this one. It's gonna be a funny looking flower. And then again, maybe it's gonna no, it's only gonna be a three petal flower, maybe four petal flower. There we go. Take this one, wrap it around. All right, now I need my one little bubble. Up. See, I want to do this demo. I'm going to. No! All right, let's see what happened. Lost my little bubble here. Lost my little bubble here. I know, I got myself in more trouble, folks. You know, I should have ended this video a minute ago and said, look at this, I'm all done. But, you know, silly old screwy me. Decided to do another one. Where is that? All right, let's, let's see if I could do this. I'm not going to be able to. All right, this is, this is a bad demo right here, folks. This is not, that's not pretty. I need, let me, ah, man. Take the tip off, add some more air. Oh, look at that puppy just unroll on me. Stop. All right, folks, this is what happens when you get too lazy and you just don't inflate another balloon. I sh really should have just inflated another balloon to show you. Oh, uh, see, where was that one bent? Now I'm eyeballing it. This is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to do this because this is where you're going to get in trouble and have the wrong size bubbles. What's the old saying? Do what I say, don't do what I do. I think that's... But this gives you an idea of what I'm going after. Because then the balloons nestle right in here. And if I had more balloons, they would be clustered together. I could do this. I want to expand my flower to fill it out this way and have a flower this way. This this is, like I say, this is an old technique that hasn't been, uh, it, it is exploited. I mean, there's a lot of balloon entertainers that do use this design, 
But what I like about it is the measuring where you do your four inch bubble, your little bubble, and then you come back down to itself. And then you keep using the bubbles to guarantee your petal size. Well, I hope you like the flower. Thank you guys for jumping on, being part of my uh, show today. It's been quiet in the chat room today. I guess everybody's uh, partially sleepy, getting ready, you know, uh, practicing and doing everything else. But, uh, hey, my name is Dale LaBrocta. Do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Now is the time to do it. There's a lot of people who watch this channel who are not subscribers. It costs you nothing. And remember, subscribe. You don't like this in six months, you could unsubscribe. Don't worry about it. It's not like you're getting billed on a month-to-month -month basis. There's no fee. The only thing I request is you leave a comment, you drop out. If you got the chat, say hi in the chat. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing crazy, just hello. And then from there, you know, you guys can be with me, hang out with me, and chat with me. But I hope you like this design. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. You guys have a great day. Be good, be healthy, be fun. Be fun, have fun. Bye-bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.